Thank you very much for your time this morning. On the front pages, Daily Graphic, Health Ministry widens coronavirus uh, screening at the Kuchika International Airport. MMDCs don't visit communities regularly. University of Ghana Political Science Department survey says new plan closure. Workers appeal to, for government's intervention. President commissions 307 ambulances. Distribution starts immediately. That's what the graphic reports. And on the back page, First Lady inaugurates renovated Asha Polyclinic in the Ododododo constituency in Accra. The final newspaper, Life Savers Hit Road, as President Akufuado fulfills one constituency, one ambulance promise, will provide robust support for SMEs. CBG says so. Court stops perjury motion against Dr. Edu Ampoma, uh, cites prejudice. MOH designates 17 hospitals as coronavirus centers. The Guardian Times, at the commissioning distribution of ambulances, ambulance service bill for parliament soon, according to president. Government sets up national coordinating technical committee to respond to coronavirus. Court remands five arrested in connection with patting up shooting. Government secures 326 million euros for projects nationwide. The Daily Guide, court stops Opuni's lawyer. President delivers Sona on February 20th at a State of Nation address. Takradi to Takwa train is back. And Nana rolls out 307 new ambulances. And, um, well, on the back page, I'm sure you've seen the viral video of the boxer, uh, Alote, who's been, who, who, who dished out a few blows to uh, an Asante Kotoko uh, fan. He's been, uh, he's facing G GBA's wrath for assaulting a fan and misconducting himself publicly. My guest this morning, the Honorable Andrew Ejapa Mesa. He's the Member of Parliament for the 2nd D constituency in the Western Region. And the Honorable Sam Jata George is the Member of Parliament for the Ningo Pram Pram constituency in the Greater Accra Region. Gentlemen, welcome. How are you doing? Very well. Both the trains here. are back on track in your region. You must be a happy man. Yes, uh, indeed. Uh, uh, before I go on, let me just say good morning. <coughs> Joguse, my very good friend, uh, Jata, and our church viewers, particularly those in my constituency, Second D. Uh, of course, uh, we all heard uh, the news uh, a couple of days ago that the Ghana Railway Service, or corporation, mm. company, if you like, uh, I don't even know the designation now, <laughs> uh, had commenced uh, commercial rail transportation mm. after 12 or so years uh, to Takwa. Mm. Uh, it's exciting news. Uh, we all know the impact that uh, having a functional railway system in our country mm. would do to particularly uh, 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 transportation between two towns and uh, also, most importantly, the conservation of our roads. Mm. You know, uh, of course, we know that most bulk uh, goods in the past, when the railways were functional, uh, manganese bauxite, and all that were transported through the Western Rail Line. Unfortunately, we allowed it to fall into a state of decay. Uh, thankfully, the NDC government began some work. Uh, they did the second day Kojokrome Takrade mm -hmm. stretch, which really was for commuter service uh, because there was no bulk commodity that was coming from this uh, triangle, if you like. I mean, if you are familiar with that enclave, you will see that the second day, Kojokrom and Takrade. Right. Now, it has been extended to Takwa, uh, which means that uh, the Ghana Manganese Company, uh, beyond the commuter service, beyond the foodstuffs that would come from the farming communities within the uh, Takwa Wasa enclave, uh, which would come through to second day, Takrade, where the market is, uh, would also have the benefit of using uh, uh, real for the uh, uh, bulk commodities. So it's uh, exciting news. Uh, I know that my very good uh, uh, brother, uh, Joe Gatte, who is responsible for railway development, is doing a lot of work. Uh, I understand that the plan is to do new standard gauge lines on the western, eastern, central, and of course, the central spine. Uh, a lot of work has been done. And I'm sure as the days go by, as the months go by, we'll see actual construction in the rest of the 
uh, planned execution. The, the, promise, that we have the a, promise was also to get us a direct rail line from the western region to Paga. I yeah, remember. That's, that's the central spine. Right, that which I was, is. Uh, I was referring what? to, which essentially uh, is, is the new lines that uh, is proposed to be done. Uh, we're all aware that some process has commenced. Uh, mm -hmm. Some transaction advisor was appointed, I believe, in 2017. Right. Some expressions of interest were received from people who were uh, desirous of partnering with government mm -hmm. uh, on the various arrangements, including PPPs and BOTs. Mm -hmm. Uh, last year, we all were told that the ministry has also uh, signed some MOU with uh, Skyline for the Accra uh, um, inner city railway system, if you like. And so much work has been done in the background. Like I said, uh, you know, uh, in the fullness of time, we would see the commencement of actual work mm. on, <coughs> on some of these things. Okay. So, take a bite. He says, uh, you started some work and they are continuing it and expanding it. This should be exciting. Well, let me say a very good morning to our viewers, mm -hmm. to your good self and to my friend Bobo um, and the good people of Ghana, mm -hmm. uh, and Ningo Pram Pram. Um, I think it's my first time here this year, yes, so I'll say it. a happy new year to everybody. Like Bobo rightly stated, um, the railway sector is one of the sectors where you would see the benefits of governance mm -hmm. when governance is practiced right as a continuum, mm -hmm. where you do not see the usual characterization of our body politic where people or governments come in and basically truncate mm -hmm. uh, projects that started. A lot of the work in the railway sector um, commenced somewhere some as far back as 2010, mm. you know. Um, but a lot of the projects we see today, actualization of them, when, when we talk about actualization, that's uh, securing the facilities, mm. coming to parliament for approvals and all of those, happened between 2014 and 2016. Okay. You know, um, some some actually saw the day of light, like the like you rightly pointed out, the second Kodrochrome mm. Takradi uh, rail line. Um, the extension to Takwa and all were things that were like phase two, phase three, okay. uh, continu they were, they were yeah, supposed to be continuum. Absolutely. Okay. When you look at the, for example, the one that runs through my constituency, which is the, the Tema to right now in Pakadan, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be Tema to Akusombo. Okay. Um, this government has come and changed the final landing point instead of Akusombo, they moved it to Mpakadan. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to the actualization of the project or the loan facility, the signing of the contract with uh, Mrs. Chapon, Chaponji Palonji mm -hmm. uh, of India and all of those processes. I mean, those were all completed. Mm -hmm. Those were loan agreements. I mean, myself and Bobo have been in the seventh parliament. We, we, we have not approved any new loan agreements mm -hmm. for railway lines. Um, yet all of these railway projects are going on. So you're saying this approved. is money you, you got well, most of these were approved. Where the, the loan agreements were approved by the sixth parliament. Okay. The seventh parliament has not worked on loan agreements for this particular railway lines. But like I'm pointing out, I mean, it is it is a good sign, a sign of good governance, mm -hmm. because in other areas, and and I'll give credit to uh, Mr. Honor, the Honourable Joe Gatti right. and uh, Honourable Ejenim Boating, mm -hmm. who are minister and deputy there, for their willingness to continue and see through projects they came to inherit because i mean i could give you examples of loan agreements that the sixth parliament approved that well whether sector ministers or central government a decision was taken not to see through with them and those contracts those uh, loan agreements have lapsed for example you know because when you take a loan from an international bank and you don't draw down on it for a period of time they'll cancel the facility right. okay and and that's what i'm saying that if we if we could embrace the, the fact that governance is a continuum. Mm -hmm. And so you, you, the NPP may have started something 
God willing, in January 2021, when the Mahama administration takes over, we would continue with those projects because at the end of the day, let's be minded that the resources that were put into the commencement of this project are taxpayers' funds. Okay. And and they're not they, they do not belong either to the NDC or the NPP. It's mm -hmm. taxpayers' money. And we need to make judicious use of taxpayers' money. So, right. I mean, it's it's a welcome news. Um, I hope that the Ghana Manganese Company, like you pointed out, there were issues recently with the company and some of its operations. I'm hoping that all of those things could be resolved so that we could see a proper use mm -hmm. of, of this line. Okay. I don't know if the line that is there is... is um, because what I saw in the footage yesterday mm -hmm. was a passenger carriage. Right. I do not know if they have the 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 one the, for the one for haulage. <laughs> okay. Because that that two different things. So yes, but, and like Bobo rightly pointed out, you it will be good to have a lot of the heavy cargo mm -hmm. hauled by rail. In fact, that saves our roads. Okay. But the question I'm asking is if the current state of the carriages or the coaches there are for haulage or for for transportation because what we've seen publicized mm. is the transportation that's the passenger carriage mm. so we need to look at those and, and then we just well, be sure. what is it what do you know well the <coughs> passenger service is what has been advertised right. uh, but of course i know free that service for two days yeah for uh, in fact it's three days three days okay. yeah uh, uh, what i know is that the ghana railway company has haulage trucks okay and so uh, of course they've done test runs mm. and uh, what is of interest to the greater majority of our people who okay. are commuters, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to the one that businesses would want to use. I'm sure the engagements would be with the business people. But okay. for the benefit of uh, the generality of the people of Ghana who mm -hmm. would wish to commute to Takwa, mm -hmm. that announcement was for, for, for them. For them. Okay, join us. Your thoughts and comments. Zero two zero two one six 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 three three. Yesterday, at the Black Star Square, some have named it the National Ambulance Day, because three hundred and seven ambulances were commissioned by the President of the Republic. That's in fulfilment of um, a campaign promise from twenty sixteen of one constituency, one ambulance. There have been a lot of reactions. The minority, for example, have been asking uh, for us to to ask the question about the Oniado Mobile Clinics. Um, somebody thinks that, well, it is supposed to be the shine of 307 ambulances and not only a dog. What do you think? I don't know. But Bobo, yesterday was, was big for, for the NPP, particularly and for Ghana. Um, 307 ambulances after the long wait, my uh, bulleted campaign. But finally, it happened yesterday at the Independence Square. Yes. I mean, the uh, uh, introduction of the question relating to Oniado, mm. which in any event... We're not, let's talk about the ambulances. I'll deal with it. Mm. It's important. Mm. Which in any event were not emergency... Uh, 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 did not provide any emergency health. Mm. My understanding is that they were mobile eye clinics. Really? Yes, that's my understanding. Not just... Okay. So well, uh, you know, uh, could be hospitals, whatever it is. Mm. But we are told that even uh, the parts for the vehicles themselves mm -hmm. are not available. Uh, and so they are immutable, they cannot be used. Mm -hmm. But this injection, mm -hmm. this intervention, if you like, into our emergency health system yesterday mm -hmm. cannot be downplayed by any well-meaning Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. You see, I was saddened uh, at a point yesterday Why? when on social media, mm. uh, people who are known to come from my very good friend Sam's stock, mm. the NDC, were essentially uh, poo pooing the outdooring mm. or the commissioning of the vehicles and saying that it was an exercise in celebrating mediocrity uh, when they forget that we're in this country when even distribution of headpants for fishmongers mm -hmm. yes they're useful for the kind of work that they do was commissioned in this country when 12 borehole drilling machines mm -hmm 
were commissioned. We live in this country where vice presidents have commissioned toilet facilities. Mm. You see, Johnny, I don't discount any of those events. Mm. Because we live in a country where propaganda, mm. spinning, is the order of the day. Is it? We hear people say mm. that Nanado Dan Kwakuvado has borrowed 80 billion with nothing to show for it. You hear them say it. Mm. When my good friend Sam here will admit that every single loan that mm. government contracts is for a specific project. And that when projects commence, mm. they are not completed overnight. It takes time. Mm. If you look in the annual debt management report that the finance minister is required to submit to parliament, you'll see mm. loans that are contracted every year and the projects that they are directed at using those funds to execute. That we hear them. What have you done with the monies that you've contracted mm -hmm. for in behalf of the Republic of Ghana? What has been your response? So it is what, important. What has been your I'll, I'll deal with it, Johnny, mm -hmm. please. Oh, I'll be it's my it's important mm -hmm. that when governments deliver, mm -hmm. such outdoorings are carried out, just like Mr. Mahama, former president, mm -hmm. with all due respect, saw fit for his excellency Leonardo Dan Kwakuvado to let Ghanaians. Mm -hmm witness and see in black and white so that this promise mm. has been delivered so and so important to commission commission now, okay so let, substantively let, hold, hold on let sure. me ask let me ask you a simple question the the people of ghana voted against uh, or voted out the ndc um because they thought that you were a better option absolutely but and, that's not and by the electoral yes. records now if your standard is to play by the rejected standard which is the ndc no what I what do you say not, of the I'm alternative? Not, not at all. It's the delivery. Mm. It's a stop substance and form. Okay. Okay. I'm saying to you, mm. and I said it here, that because of the kind of political environment that we're operating, mm -hmm. what's important for Mr. Mama to let Ghanaians know that he's procured twelve ambulance, uh, what you call it, ball drilling really machines. What's important? It's news, it's communication needed to be. Told. That was the story. Mm. And this is our story. And Ghanaians can compare as to whether they prefer 307 ambulances that were promised and have been delivered vis a vis 12 borehole drilling machines okay. that were procured and are done. Those are things that, and, and so I'm saying that mm. people should not be mischievous because mm. there's a long history of governments mm. are doing things that they yes it's their their responsibility mm. to deliver on providing emergency health care for its people right. absolutely right so why the celebration but, but of course if the people are not made aware somebody will spin it and say that you promise ambulance we haven't seen it your father but now that everybody father, in ghana has seen it mm. Would it become a propaganda tool for the NDC you, to you, go out and speak? You owe school no. fees. Your, you owe school fees. Your father pays part of your school fees and throws a party while the other half stays in arrears. The, the, and, the, and, and the people you say... See, you see, Johnny, hmm. party of Coca-Cola that have paid your school fees go to school are buying Coke. No, Coco, yes. Coco Dairy. Yeah, it's even Coco better. Dairy. <laughs> You, you complain about that. Mm. Let's, 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 you know, uh, uh, not trivialize some of these how things. Much okay? they, and, how much and, did the commissioning cost us? You do we know? I'm, I'm not aware. You're not you aware. a journalist. You can interrogate. <clears throat> okay. But, of course, this is not the first time that a function like this is being organized. Okay. Uh, the Ghana Police Service were giving vehicles last year. I'm not sure that uh, we, we were told of any prohibitive cost mm. in any event. <clears throat> Uh, candle piece chairs and uh, 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 what, what, what really was was held there that the cost can be complained about, mm. you, you know. But it, it's important. But for me, uh, significantly, this is going to go a long way. And mm. I've read the speech 
that was delivered by the head of the National Ambulance Service, uh, outlining uh, what it is that this injection is going to do, mm -hmm. reduce significantly the access, the ratio of ambulances to people uh, from in the region of in excess of 500,000 people mm -hmm. per ambulance to about 84,000. That's significant. But it cannot be said that that's the end of the road. It's that's why His Excellency the President indicated that, look, as we speak, they are considering cabinet mm. is considering the national ambulance bill which clearly will identify sources of funding that will ensure mm. that this intervention is improved it's made better mm. for the benefit of the people of ghana i think it's worth celebrating okay great so let's talk quickly about when you adopt from you in maybe one minute and then i'll bring some in um or, or hold on with that thought let me come to some some the bobo <coughs> essentially is telling you that look there's no cause for for alarm you did say you have no moral justification to be asking questions about of an obviously bigger project which needs commissioning what say you bobo said people are doing mischief or are being mischievous right. there's nobody who's been more mischievous than bobo this morning when bobo seeks to compare <laughs> the ndc and the npp and his point of comparison mm -hmm. is 307 ambulances and 12 borehole machines drilling mm -hmm. machines i mean that's mischief that's not the ndc's track record in the healthcare sector if he didn't want to be mischievous he would want to compare the ndc's intervention in the healthcare sector vis-a-vis -vis the npp's intervention in the healthcare sector now let me do that for him let me kill the mischief okay you're talking about 307 ambulances fair and square but like you rightly pointed out if my father pays school fees for me and throws a party for it i'm asking myself what's up with that mm -hmm. okay because this is this is our taxpayers money that the president has used to buy ambulances mm -hmm. for us um he bought the ambulances packed them for five months and then decided finally to do pump and pageantry and share them and he's sharing he's used our money to buy ambulances for us. Mm -hmm. After waiting for five months, he's sharing it. Then he says that we should beat the drums and the phantom from and hail him as the king president said for using our money to buy, to buy 200. You brought 30 that were not fit for purposes. You see, the president years. himself is peddling untruths, and it's sad that the president will do that. Okay, mm -hmm. because when you listen to Professor Ahmed Nuh Zakaria, the, 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 the head of the National Ambulance Service, he will tell you that the first intervention in the National Ambulance Service was in 2005 mm -hmm. under President Kufo, where he bought 50 ambulances. Mm -hmm. Again, in 2013, there about 2013, mm -hmm. under the NDC, you had 161 mm -hmm. ambulances mm -hmm. bought. He will tell you that. And then you had the 30 that came in in 2016 right. before this. So when the president says that only 30 ambulances were brought, the president is, is, being a, is, is lying. <laughs> you, you, to put it slightly, the president is deceiving and misleading the Ghanaian people the way he claims he was misled. Okay, because the facts are there. Now, let's be clear. And you see, people ask, how come the NDC says they bought 161 ambulances and now we are told we have between 50 and 55 ambulances? It's simply because these are high utility vehicles. Mm -hmm. Vehicles that are used for 24 hours, seven days a week. Ambulances are on constant call. And so even Dr. Ahmed Nuru Zakari, and I listened to him yesterday, he made the point clear mm. that ambulances have a, a shelf life of basically five years. Mm. Like every new vehicle. After five years, you know, it begins to have issues. And those are even private vehicles that we use. Now imagine the strain and stress on ambulances. And he says that after five years, they no longer have the capacity to run as an ambulance service. Mm. And that's how come you have to have a, cy a cycle of constantly replen replenishing mm. your stock of ambulances. Mm. If ambulances were bought in 2013, 161 ambulances, five years on is 2018. So if the government is bringing in a new stock of ambulances, they're only doing what's right. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, the biggest intervention. Now let us look at what the NDC is trying They are is. bringing insurance into the game. They are bringing a synchronized call center. Uh, certainly, they, they, a lot more has been added. More they are not bringing a synchronized call se center. One, 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 one two, two. Please, please go to page one hundred and eighteen of the Green Book. Mm. As far back as twenty sixteen, and I worked in the Ministry of Communications under the NDC administration. Mm. Through the, a collaboration between the Ministry of, 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 of Communications and the Ministry of... We didn't have a Ministry of National Security. We had a National Security Secretariat mm. headed by uh, Mr. Uh, Yao Donko. Okay. A collaboration between Yao Donko as National Security Coordinator and Omani Boama as Minister for Communication saw the setup of the National Emergency Center. Okay. Our national... Uh, it, it was a NOC, National Emergency Operation Center. Mm. 
right behind the the the, the, the conference center and the setup of 112 mm -hmm. as a critical emergency call in the year 2016 mm -hmm. the 112 number received 2 million phone calls 2 million mm -hmm. phone calls this is a fact 112 has existed since to, it was set up in 2015. Why was this not publicized? I'm saying to you that it was publicized. When, mm. it, when President Mahama went to commission and TV3 mm. was there, I remember very well, mm. to cover the opening of the emergency center. We, we, we have a huge emergency center that has screens. I mean, some of these things have security implications, mm. but where the eyes of, the, of security, in, especially in, in, in Accra, okay. where you have over 6,000 CCTV cameras sending footage to a national emergency center okay. where we're able to see for crime prevention exactly. and and president mama was the one who commissioned it tv3 cameras were there in 2016 and and when it was commissioned the 112 number was giving us the call center number where you call and responses are i said in 2016 so it's not entirely were, true that it is new oh it's it's I, I said go to page 118 of the green book okay it is in there okay. so 112 is not a new number okay i'm saying in 2016 mm. the 112 number received two million Two million calls. You understand me? Two million individual calls were made okay. to the one one two number. So when, when President Akufado comes and stands and says that he set up a new synchronized again, he's misleading the country or lying to the country. But I was talking about the intervention of the NDC in the health sector. Mm -hmm. And I'll wrap up there. Two billion under the under the Mahama administration, two billion US dollars mm -hmm. intervention. When the ambulances go and pick anybody from second second D, Bobo's constituency. Right, would the ambulances bring the person to the Flagstaff House or to the Black Star Square? Is it not to a hospital they will send them to? Right. Those hospitals were built by who? Those hospitals were retooled by who? And then when you talk about Onyado, mm. and they say that, and, and he said Onyado were just eye clinics. Well, maybe that's his understanding where, of where it. They? Onyado were they? provided beyond eye services. You understand? Onyado was, you had, you had the, the, the eye service, the, the optometric van. Okay. You had a dental clinic mm. where full dental surgery okay. was going on. In fact, babies with cleft, you know, right. babies were yes, born, exactly. were operated in the Onyado van. Mm. Full operating theaters. Twelve of them. You understand me? And so if anybody is telling, and you see, we just celebrated the Ministry of Railways on this show. Right for continuity mm. i think that the minister for health must get a lesson in governance and what continuity is look this is the same minister who has refused to commission district hospitals that were built by mahama this is the same minister and government that has refused to open the university of ghana medical center a quaternary level hospital a hospital that is that if it's fully functional mm. there is nothing like that hospital on the african continent you know why there are four there are three leading hospitals in the world mm. for for pediatric care the, the Mount Sinai mm -hmm. in, in, in the United States, okay. St. Bartholomew mm -hmm. in the United Kingdom, and, Sidas, uh, uh, and then uh, Shiva okay. in Israel. Mm -hmm. What you have on Legon campus is a direct replica mm -hmm. of the Shiba Medical Center in Israel. The same thing. So it was the Israelis who came and replicated what you have in Shiba, mm -hmm. in, in, in Tel Aviv, Shiba, on, in Shiba Medical Center here for us. It's a quaternary service hospital. Apart from Kolebu mm -hmm. and Konfanochi, there is no other quaternary service hospital in Ghana. You have a complete one sitting there. That hospital has the capacity to take care of at least 5,000 cases a day. What are we seeing? 100 cases a week. That's what, that's what the minister is superintending. And you sit down and say that we should, we should beat the, roll out the national orchestra and celebrate the president. Yesterday, I asked Who is rolling out 307 yes. ambulances as against the man who built, oversaw the building of that quaternary yesterday, service hospital. Yesterday. Who saw the building. Are you aware that until Joe Mahama mm. became president, your regional, your, your national capital, mm. Greater Accra, mm. did not have a regional hospital? Are you aware of that? That there was no regional hospital in Greater Accra? The regional hospital was existing. No, it was, it was not a regional hospital. Okay. The, you see, in, when it comes to hospitals, you have gradients Grading. and, and classifications okay. of hospital. The regional hospital was not a regional hospital. Mm. It was at the same level as a district hospital. Mm. It was John Mahama's government that saw the, in, the upgrade of regional hospital to a regional hospital and made it a Greater Accra regional hospital. That is why, at that time, everybody who had an issue, when you go to region, they refer you to either 37 or they refer you to Kolibu, and overcrowding there. This... In Greater Accra alone, the Jamama uh, government upgraded Ridge to mm -hmm. a district hospital, set up the regional maritime hospital, mm -hmm. set up the Bank of Ghana hospital, mm -hmm. did the upgrades that you've seen at Kolibu. Mm -hmm. Look, at the end of the day, we need, we need to say that, look, governance is a continuum. 
one government started something it cannot do all if another government has come in for me i'm more interested this okay, ambulance is fair and square i'm more i'm more interested in seeing how we are going to maintain these ambulances right you yeah. know why mm -hmm. because i don't know about bobo's place but i know my constituency mm -hmm. A large part of my constituency, if the ambulance gets in there and it's called, if the ambulance is called to a community like Soma, for example, mm -hmm. the road there, if that ambulance plies that road five times, that ambulance is going to break but, down. But we are promised that we'll have a centralized point, garages where these wells will be. We are fixed. promised. Where the ambulances are supposed to start working today. Mm -hmm. they are, the, the, road, the road is going to start having effect on those, on those ambulances immediately. It's not going to wait for the promise to be fulfilled. You understand me? And that's why I'm saying that, look, at the end of the day, and I've raised a critical issue mm. that it's one thing having ambulances. Mm. It's another thing even having the hospitals. Yesterday, when and, I spoke with and, Dr. Okuboy, he was here, and I asked him a question about uh, the emergency system and whether the paramedics will be fantastic, ready. Fantastic. And he says, he says the hospitals are ready to receive the cases. Do you doubt that? Let, 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 me, let me tell you what. You see, <laughs> critical emergency care... Mm goes beyond just having the EMTs and the ambulances and the hospitals. Mm. The question now you have, you ask, which I can state on authority, that doesn't exist as we speak today, is a critical infrastructure system that is able to determine that at this point in time, as we speak now, there are two beds at Kolibu, mm. there are five beds at Ridge Hospital, mm. there are two beds at, at Lekma Hospital. We don't have a system so, right so now. How is such the old that, ambulance such that working? The old ambulances were doing what you call bed shopping. So you call the old ambulance service. They come and pick you from your home. You get to a hospital. You get to Ridge. Ridge says they are full. They can't take the patient because Ridge was not informed ahead of time to prep for that okay. for that for that patient. I, I, I think, think, I think in thirty have, seconds. In thirty time. seconds. And so they move from Ridge. Then they go to police hospital. Mm. Police hospital is not ready. They can visit seven hospitals. There's a story on Facebook of someone whose mother died after visiting seven hospitals in Accra in an ambulance. And is that no you understand it? And that's what. The no, the tracking, point, the tracking system. The, the tracking system is not. So when you no, make a call, it, it, it no, shows you no, which no, ambulance is available, no, which hospital no, is ready no, to receive no. you. The tracking system is to be able to monitor the ambulances and be sure mm -hmm. that we bought ambulances and people are not using the ambulances for private business to be moving the ambulance to go to a year and go and carry body here and come. No. That's what the tracking system is, and that is good. Right. The GPS system is supposed to be able to help when you call or when you go onto the to app and, 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 and make a distress call to enable them use the GPS system to locate you and be able to, because don't forget, we don't have a proper addressing system where you can say, I'm on the corner of 4th and 7th, house number and this. That GPS you, doesn't work. That's what I'm saying, that it is that GPS pointing system, mm. which is not an addressing system, okay. properly so-called. That... We have linked to the ambulances again. For me, that's fair and square. Mm -hmm. At least it gives the ambulances the opportunity to be able to find a casualty. Okay. But the question I'm asking is the critical system that allows such that when you are picked in the UK or in the US, mm -hmm. they know which hospital they are taking you to. By the time you get there, the theater is prepped. Mm -hmm. The doctors are on standby waiting to pick you up. That is a key aspect of critical mm. medical service that would not Professor have Zachariah yet. says those things are in place. Anyway, Bobo, take a bite on this. So you Sam see? says having the ambulances alone will solve the problem, but the hospitals must be up and running so that we can have a totality of it. He talks about the roads as well, and he disputes the fact that the things that you see you have installed, you know, can really put together a holistic emergency response system. What do you say, Bobo? see it's unfortunate okay why we do this to ourselves now prior to these ambulances and in any event what is the ghana ambulance service supposed to do supposed to provide emergency care right stabilize you and transport you to another facility that would be able to continue from where the intervention that is provided is provided mm -hmm. is that not the case yeah you see, sometimes I get amazed at the kind of comments that our friends make, that a whole hospital has been built complete and is sitting there and government is refusing to operationalize it. When you sit in parliament, just last meeting of parliament mm. between October and December, we approved a facility for the University of Ghana Medical Center. To do what? Tell me. To continue because it's not complete. It isn't complete. Ask him whether he approved the facility for phase two or whatever. I can't remember the exact phase of that hospital. Ask him. You want me to answer? Yes, answer. No, no, you, you, uh, okay. 
And so if Parliament do not approve a facility for the investment government medical center. A facility for phase two. Phase one is complete. Why is he using phase one? You see? Phase one is complete. Uh, Which phase how, one? How, how, many, how many phases are there? It's supposed to be two phases. Two phases. Okay. The second phase is ancillary works on the premises. How much was it? Ancillary works to make the if facility what? Ah. If the facility no, no, oh no no that, no. That, no. That, 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 Sam George. Anyway, Sam George. Anyway. You see, <laughs> if the facility is complete, mm. why would you approve a facility for ancillary works to be carried out there? Because even rich, rich that is fully functional. Mm. There is a phase two. We also approved a phase two for rich. Right. So every first, every project has is, is broken down in phases. Phase one is complete. You can use the hospital to a setting level. Okay. You are not using no. what is phase one. Uh, rich as you see today, rich as you see today is phase one. So you, it's a phase two. So you're saying that the full capacity of phase one has not been exploited? Absolutely not. The minister told us, and don't forget, the minister briefed the press and said the problem with phase one was a generator. Right. Generator. I, I remember that. Generator. And this was over 10 months ago. The transformer, actually. That's how I mentioned it anyway. And the so, loan was not for a transformer. Bobo, for a generator. Bobo, so make progress. You see, yes, Mr. Mahama did well. Thank but you. But it's, it's strange why they never talk about the track record of President Mills. Never. It's as if the first four years of the NDC, mm -hmm. they did nothing. Because, you see, the truth of the matter is many of these projects that Mr. Mahama had the benefit of completing mm -hmm. were all commenced during the first term of the NDC. So you sit in parliament and you've approved facilities for the expansion and completion of facilities at Konfanochi Teaching Hospital for at least five hospitals in the eastern region, mm -hmm. which are all work in progress. Yet you sit here and say President Akufuado hasn't done anything. So what did President Mahama, President Mills do? He didn't do anything. If you want me to he tell didn't. You did, of course, you. your party people have given us an answer. They say all he did was to do introduction of free school uniform, mm. free sandals, and the commencement of but, but the renovation but of the But that's what the NDC want to know. Because you see, hold on. Yes, I've added it. Yes, I've added that. Those are the only three. I just said. But they said he did three Introduction of free school uniforms. Introduction of free sandals. And then the commencement of renovation of Temalitis. It's on social media. List of 54 items that the NDC did on that Mr. Mahama. Now you say 54. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold Bobo, the they said out of that list, President Mills did only three. Bobo, my question to you so is, I'm is saying to, to you that to, you see, no, no, to tell me, I will deal with it. I will deal, that I will deal with it. The emergency response, the ambulances are not enough, that we need to get the hospitals up and running, that we need to synchronize everything. And he but makes which, a claim that hospitals, 112, the emergency line, was not started by which, you, was started by hospital, the NDC. You never knew about it until now. Hmm. Correct. I'll be hearing it for the first time. You'll be hearing it for the first time. I'm hearing it for the first time too. Okay, so let him prove to us that indeed that was what happened. He said during the, the time that they didn't the tell him, but they don't have so, a problem. But so I'll find it. So I'm supposed to have a copy of the green, no, no, green no. book sitting Come here. On. Come on. Okay, so look, the point is this this is a useful, needed intervention. Okay. Let us all commend government. Of course, everybody admits that 307 ambulances mm -hmm. will not solve all our health emergency needs right but it's a good start is the biggest intervention in africa at one procurement mm -hmm. yesterday he made reference to professor Zakaria. he himself said that the only country that has procured emergency equipment ever to this quantum is egypt 200. sex has done 307 mm -hmm. that has significantly reduced the ratio of usage from one is two in excess of 500 to one is two 84 thousand mm. it's a useful start of course it's not the end that's why the president also proceeded to announce the consideration mm. of the national ambulance yeah. service bill mm. to ensure that we have a sustainable ambulance emergency response system for the people of how, how many of those ambulances were uh, are, are functional fully functional as of yesterday and today 307 all of them all of them fitted absolutely discharged absolutely of course they were distributing it in phases. Okay. And so if you listen to Professor Zakaria, I had him on City, uh, 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 their program of uh, uh, Umaru Sanders' mm. program yesterday evening. Uh, I've forgotten the, uh, the name Point of the blank. Point blank. Mm. He said that they've distributed those that were going to the northern sector of Ghana. Today, some additional distribution will be done. And okay. then 
everything will be completed by close okay. of day tomorrow. Send your messages in. Let's do a very final one. Workers uh, appeal for government intervention in the matter of the new plant closure. And workers at the assembling plant of New Plant Ghana Limited, which faces a shutdown, have appealed for government intervention to prevent the shutdown on Friday as announced by its management. The workers told the Daily Graphic that they believed if the government awarded the company contracts to buy uh, coaches, it will help them secure their livelihood, adding will be able to break even and still remain in employment. I'm told the last time they had a contract from government was when some 400 Metro Mass Transit uh, buses were, were given to them to, to put together. And since then, they've been living on repairs. And the French 45 shareholder says, look, government's 55% is not helping them in any way. So they are parking their bag and baggage and going. I heard uh, Deputy Trade Minister Carlos Ahinkra say that should not happen. Uh, government has not treated them well. They acknowledged, I think, since 2010 or so. And that uh, they will appeal and get to the table to work. So my question is, why do we have such a company that is able to do what we import and yet we leave them to go and import and we leave the workers crying they are on the verge of going home and then we will have the unemployment numbers balloon why okay just before i come to this let me crave your indulgence for 30 seconds since we did something on health okay. there's a public health issue i've been raising for the past week okay in my constituency okay which has to do with the you the, the discharge of wastewater mm. by Onto, onto the streets, into okay. public drainage system mm -hmm. for, by Def Traco. And I'm urging Def Traco to address that system where they are pumping their wastewater mm -hmm. into an open drain and using it to affect residents on the Savannah Road okay. and other residents. And I'm calling on the EPA and the district assembly mm. to immediately step in because you cannot have your wastewater. Nobody, Johnny, you cannot be pumping your wastewater into no, a gutter. It's, it's it's, it is unacceptable no. anywhere. And, 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 and I'm calling on DevTraco to address that as a matter of urgency. I raised this issue for two weeks now. Okay. And subsequently, we would engage in civil action against them if okay. they fail to do that. Quickly, now, let, me, let, me, let me also put out this one. So this is Sam, Sam George's uh, own observation. It is not our opinion as a media house, and we cannot immediately verify that claim. We disassociate ourselves from that immediately until we're able to verify that claim. In fact, next because, week I'll be inviting Because you. there's a brand involved, so sure. I must be careful. But Eric Yawajik, uh, a man in the Western region, says that uh, it's the same line that the passenger service will use in terms of the for rail the line. Yes. Says but the haulage from Insuta has always been there. Yeah. And at a point, the Kojo Chrome and Takwa line, it terminates into one. So it presupposes that there will be a uh, convergence of the line. Is the, is the infrastructure then, that right, has been put right. in place? So let me put the new plan the freezer for, a, a freezer for a bit and let's go and check out some of the messages there. Right. So welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, comments are covered in based on your discussions this morning. It says, good morning. I still don't understand why the government should still boast of its ability to provide these ambulances. They should know that it is our own money and not money from their own pockets. But it's a plus for the MPP, the other governments, not to mention names, couldn't embark on a life-changing project like this. That's from Emirates at Bekwai. Good morning, TV3. If he wants, uh, he can distribute ambulances for every household across this country. But if there are not qualified health professionals, such as nurses, to manage uh, patients' conditions in the few uh, various in the few health facilities, it is useless, and no serious country will. Uh, with priorities will prioritize things like this can you imagine uh, we okay can you imagine some districts which have only 80 health workers of which most at times uh, only one nurse manages the patients just consider in case emergency uh, occurs please next time uh, government should go should do background analysis of people being appointed as ministers because some do not have technical competence to manage such portfolios hashtag post nurses now we are tired and fed up of their deceit assurance that's from debert inside nandom upper west region ambulances do not work at markets or farms but in the hospitals how many hospitals did npp government build Ghanaians are suffering hard huh, and will retire Nana Ado. That's from Gilbert Aaron Boy. Good morning, Hughes and TV3 viewers. It is good NDC knows governance is uh, continuum. If so, they should not disturb the ears of Ghanaians that 
JDM has built that and that because the so-called hospital facilities um, were, were procured by President Kufour and NDC inherited the facility to build the hospitals which was um, marked by uh, Kufour's administration. That's from Kofi Jum Jumo at Adenta Housing Down. Good morning, Johnny, please. Now that the ambulances are distributed, what happens if they get patients to the hospitals uh, to the hospitals, and there are no adequate nurses to attend to them. Post-2017, uh, 2018 batch of nurses who have been in the house for two to three years. And that's from Roger from Bolgatanga. This is Hubert from East Lagon. It's really sad to see some Ghanaians reacting the way they did at the ceremonial release of the ambulances, which the government already has a responsibility to do. Ghanaians really have to change their mindset. Too. Otherwise, these politicians will continue to play uh, us for fools. Uh, oh, anyways, we thank President Anakufuado for bringing and releasing the ambulances. He must now concentrate on where the ambulances will take the patients. Good morning, TV3. This incompetent Nana uh, Ado led government keeps on wasting the taxpayers' money. Why will the distribution of ambulances be airing on television and radio stations? The previous government, led by JDM, bought fire tenders for every constituency in Ghana, but never made this noise. The MPP is making concerning uh, the purchase of these ambulances still J.M. Beba. Uh, Gordon, that's from Gordon. Oh, Gordon Isubon saying the incoming MP for Doma Central from the blessed son of NDC, Doma Ahinkro. Good morning, Johnny. Purchasing 307 ambulances by this government shouldn't be big news. To whom much is given, much is expected. The government has had lots of funds prepared compared to other governments in the past. What we are seeing isn't enough, so Honorable Ejapa should give us a break. After all, it's our money and not NPP money. Good morning, Johnny and team. The government has done very well by de delivering such a huge number of ambulance vehicles ever in the history of Ghana. As citizens, we must appreciate good policies aimed at creating better livelihoods for all. That's from Yamin Ilyasu in Medina. I stand amazed at the level of mediocrity and substandard way of thinking of some section of Ghanaians. A regime undertakes construction of chips compound clinics as well as districts and regional hospitals across the nation and was tagged as incompetence. And then the other regime comes in and purchases ambulances, one for each constituency, and this is hashtag the change we voted for. This is very laughable. We must not allow common sense to elude us. We welcome first aid and despise <coughs> comprehensive health check. Let us use our heads rather than emotions. Prince uh, Jaleo Usman. Good morning, Johnny. I took my mom from Hogwarts to Kolebu after they asked us to come on reaching, they told us no bed. We sent her to 37. They took us, they took our stretcher before admitting her. Hmm. Hmm. Good morning to you, Johnny, and your panelists, especially my vibrant MPP man. Once again, thanks to the visionary president of the Fourth Republic uh, for achieving, pardon me, achieving another manifesto promise. We are grateful. Tell Sam George that this, these ambulances are better than they pick up than the pickups for all constituencies they procured in 2016 from Bashiru in Tamale. Uh, the San Sangaribu uh, agenda, Felicia Tete from, for, okay. Uh, I'm <laughs> surprised about the legendary, this is the last one for the morning. I'm surprised about the legendary pageantry exhibited by the government yesterday. We really celebrated mediocre in this country. Very, uh, we really celebrate mediocrity in this country. Very sad and disappointed. And that's from Kofi Johnson from Secondly, and that's the end of the Thank you very much. Somebody sent me, uh, Mr. Peter Quay just sent me this message. Says the U.S. emergency call code is 911 and it's biblically based on Psalm 91 verse 1, which means runs, uh, run to God for safety. And he <laughs> says he wishes that Ghana could make a biblical meaning of 112 as well. So good morning, Chairman General. So take a bite on uh, the new plan issue. Uh, I'm told we have about five or six minutes, so yeah, we share it. I, I, we share I know, but, but Johnny, let me just put on the record that I'm going to be forwarding to you okay. um, the video mm. from GTV okay. of the news item in 2015 okay. where, where GTV announced the launch of 112 as a short code okay. so that you can play on, on subsequent news for your, your, your viewers so that that is established. Okay. I, I would have played it here, but maybe I don't know if the sound will go fine. No, no, I'll, it, I'll, it won't I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> now to the new plan <laughs> issue. Yeah. To the new plan issue. And let me say thank you to PK from Elembele for sending me that video. Um, he's a communication officer there. Okay. Now, to the new plan issue. Mm. Again, as a country, we failed. I didn't say as a government. As a country, we mm. failed. Because 
you you have seen <laughs> you, you notice seen. when they when they see that then it means they admit they are part of the problem I'll allow him to make his <laughs> points then then you can oh, vent on this show, show. Let, let's be talking about no, I know, I know, let, let's no, let's no, be no, nationalistic no, about this because me. people may people may lose their jobs <laughs> because there are people <laughs> if the french pack their badge yeah. at new plan mm. and and as far as i'm concerned and why i say as a as a country we failed as successive governments the ndc government the npp government have all bought buses from china right when we could have asked new plan to assemble these buses mm. Okay, we've bought buses from outside this country for either STC, for Metro Mass. Mm. We could have done more. We could have done more to save New Plan. Okay, the last, and they, they talk about the last time New Plan got any job was under the, the Mills administration, Mills Muhammad administration, right. where New Plan buses were bought for Metro Mass mm. and they were asked to do the fittings right. for those 400 buses. buses. 400 buses. Mm. That was the last time New Plan got any job. Under the Mills Muhammad, administration they don't have a board as we speak you understand me in 2010 yes and that's i said under the mills mahama administration okay that was the last time metro mass got any government mm. business I, proper I, government I, business I, 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 I deliberately introduced the year no, oh. no let's 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 make progress i you, think you get it i think that and, and, and for me and for me and for me it is sad mm. okay because this is not something we'll do politics with because just like the banking crisis mm. just like the the collapse of, of financial institutions that have led to Great. I, I know people who were working in banks mm. who today are a pale shadow of themselves. Some have actually lost <coughs> their lives. Mm. So I know what it means for people to lose their, lose their source of livelihood. Mm. No, whether, whether you like it or New Plan employs about 100 people. Right. These 100 people are breadwinners. So they started with 800 actually. 800. And then they whittled down and, to and 100. So, and so you can imagine the number of people who's, the number of children whose school fees for the next term. Mm. It's not guaranteed. The number of old ladies whose medical bills are mm. taken by these their children who work there, that's not going to be taken care of. I think that government, that the French partner has given 31st of January. Right. Government must prioritize this. If it means the president sitting down with them and the ministry and mm. assuring them not to pull out, and showing them a workable roadmap mm. where government is going to put in some investment into new plan to save new plan. We cannot sit down. I mean, Look, we've lost 300 and something banks, financial institutions. Mm -hmm. We've lost too, too many things have collapsed. Most of the factories of Sajifo built for us mm -hmm. have collapsed. Look, President Kufo built the Achimota station. Right. Basically for station. New Plan. Yeah. The new station. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be a hub for New Plan buses to do to run outside of Accra, the, eastern, mm -hmm. the western corridor of, of, of Accra. What's happening? So we cannot sit down and allow that, 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 that company fail. I, I think that as a country, mm -hmm. we need to take proactive steps within the next two to three days, between mm -hmm. now and the 31st, to save new plan. Bobo, yeah, their faith I, hangs in I, the balance. I, I they don't have a board. They said that they had a board of four. Two are dead. One is incapacitated. And there's one that's not <laughs> one available. <man> <laughs> particularly uh, and, and particularly when, when the government of Ghana itself is a shareholder. 55%. Mm. Yes. Majority. And, and the workers say, look, they go to work and they are idle. Yeah, I, I agree. And, and so I largely associate myself with Sam George's comments with respect to the fact that for six years, the Mills Mahama administration failed to buy any buses from um, New Plan. And mm -hmm. for three years, the Akufuado administration has failed to make any acquisition mm -hmm. of buses from New Plan. When over the past nine years, like he said, we've bought buses mm -hmm. as a government for schools, for STC, mm -hmm. for Metro Mass, possibly uh, uh, from China. Right. And so it's refreshing that the deputy minister has indicated government's mm -hmm. commitment to engage with them, not to pull out. Mm -hmm and that whatever it had to take to ensure that the uh, new plan bus uh, company uh, is brought back to its feet mm. uh, would, would, would be carried through. Uh, mm. But you see, Sam George introduced banking collapse and financial sector collapse. I wish we had time to deal with those because if the point that he was making mm. was that as a country, we have slept on the job and allowed regulators not to perform their functions as pertained under the Mahama administration. Let's then we can progress. have a conversation. Thank you.